Hey beautiful people, this is Dominique speaking. Uh, those of you who don't know me, I am a family-centered life coach as well as a qualified teacher for almost 20 years. Last week in the newsletter, we spoke about celebration. So it was celebration part one and celebration part one was talking about uh, what to celebrate. So we spoke about birthdays and promotions, and but we also spoke about the little things. So writing in your journal, not freaking out at your family members, doing the smaller things, focusing on the smaller things. This week, we are talking about why should we celebrate? Why are we celebrating the small things? What is the big deal? They're so small. So why should we do it? The reason why we celebrate the small things is because the small things bring growth. The small things bring change. Now, when you look at a plant, you cannot see the growth, right? You cannot see, oh, today it was this big and today, you know, this today, it's, you know, yesterday it was this big, today it's this big, then tomorrow it will be this big. You're not going to actually see it. But if you see a time lapse of it, there's a beautiful time lapse which I have um, which I've put a, a link in below, so you're welcome to watch it. And it's just a quick time, time lapse of a bean plant. Now, we all planted beans when we were little, when we were younger, and, you know, it's the main thing to plant uh, for, for kids. And it's so cool that you watch the stem come out, and you watch the leaves grow, and you watch the roots, and it's so beautiful. But you cannot physically see the growth of each day of each little uh, root of each little leaf. Now in the time lapse you actually see this bean, it looks like it's dancing. It's so beautiful, I love it. And it looks like it's dancing as it's growing because it's obviously moving into its new space, right? And these little things that we've put into our lives, these little things that we do in our lives forms that growth. The more we notice the forming of our growth, the more we appreciate where we were to where we want to go. The more we acknowledge how we have developed as a person, as a wife, as a mother, as a husband, as a lover, as an employee, the more we see ourselves as a powerful human being the more we follow our passion. And this is why we celebrate. This is why we celebrate the little things. We celebrate the little things because we are acknowledging our growth. We are noticing our developments. And if you say to someone, oh, I wrote in my journal today, they're going to be like, oh, cool, that's, that's nice, well done. Or oh, I didn't fight with my um, husband today. Oh, well, whatever. Often we'll get that reaction. But to you, it may be a big deal. So celebrate that. Celebrate those little things to make it a big deal because it is a big deal. Watch yourself grow. Acknowledge how you've grown. Notice the shifts that you have created in your own life to make you the most beautiful person that you are meant to be. This is why we celebrate. So notice, acknowledge, and celebrate. And dance. Enjoy. Bye.